Hey, what's up guys? How you guys doing? This is Ray. Today, got a session in front of us. I made this beat. I'm gonna play for you guys. Now, sometimes I get a session and the drums, the snares, or the vocal, they would just record it too loud. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get a good level. Some people think recording loud is good, but let me tell you guys, it's not really that good. Over here, I have a cut track. Now, sometimes when I get a session over here in the zero, I don't know if you guys can see it, sometimes the vocals will be slamming all the way to zero. That's not really a good thing. You get a lot of digital distortion. Then the engineer is going to want to put some EQ, some compression. There's not really a lot of headroom to work with. I don't really have anybody here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hook up one of my turntables. I'm going to do a little bit of scratching and you can see how I get my levels. So let's just get right into it. Before I start scratching, let me just play the session I have. Check it out. There you go, nothing fancy. So now I'm gonna go to the cut, set it for record. All right, pretty good. I'm only gonna do that one take. Usually, I will do five, six, seven, even 10 takes, and I will just comp them all into one. I'm not really gonna get into that right now. So let's just play it back. Let's see how it sounds. One thing I want to do, get rid of the endings. There you go. Go over here. Now there's a couple of ways you could do that. As you can see, we here with the with the tool. You could just cut the ending right out, or you could just select it. Control T, and it just cuts everything on both ends. I want to put a little bit of EQ, a little bit of compression. As you can see, it's a lot of low end in this. Don't really like it too much. So first, I'm gonna load the Mass ECT4 compressor. Fast release. Let's hear it. Not bad, it sounds pretty good as you can see. Cut some of that low end, add a little bit of highs and some of that mid frequency. I think still missing something. I want to add a little bit of reverb to it. Think that could just do it. Over here, I already created the reverb track. Hear that? I think that's a little too loud. Oh. 
There you go. All right, so you can see, got a nice decent level. Do a little bit of automation, keep adding a little bit of plugins to it, get it to sound really good. But as you can see, now going back to the levels, it's not too loud, definitely not too low. See, sounds pretty good. No, not my best performance, but you guys get the idea. So see how much headroom, you see how much headroom I have there? So, could just keep processing. And the engineer could definitely do his thing. Now when everything's just slamming on zero, it's gonna be a little hard to work with. Same thing for the master bus. As you can see, I have a master over here. Look at the levels. No plugins whatsoever. I have no plugins whatsoever. Then when I'm ready to do the mix, then I'll add the saturation plugin and just a little bit of compression just to kind of glue everything together. But, I'm not a really big fan of just taking the meter and just slamming it to zero. A lot of people do that. Best thing is get a mastering engineer that knows what he's doing and you could get the best sounds possible. All right, guys, this is Rain. Hope you guys liked the video. Please rate, subscribe, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Later, guys.